Matakawa has arrived at DCI headquarters to stand in solidarity with the former Mungiki leader Miena Njega, who is being questioned by DCI. Matakawa arrives at DCI headquarters to defend ex Mungiki leader Miena Njega. Hello and welcome to Kenyan Secrets. If you are new to the channel, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell to so be able to watch our uploaded videos. Miena Njega was arrested after police found guns and several rolls in bank in his Nakuru home. It is very shameful that a leader of the level of Matakawa can go to stand with a person accused of such crimes. Miena Njega previously led a Mungiki sect that led to people losing their lives and death of several people in Kenya. It is therefore unfortunate that Azimo leaders are playing politics with everything. Miena Njega is also accompanied by among other leaders Jeremiah Kioni, Eugene and a host of other leaders. Miena Njega has remained firm and clear that guns and bang that was found in his home has nothing to do with him. Whether Miena Njega will be charged given his efforts to use politics to caution himself from criminal charges, let's wait and see. Miena Njega has been accused of serious crimes as well as previously survived serious assassination In other news, attempts. Azimo Coalition yesterday pressed briefing in Nairobi told Kenyans that they warned them during campaign period to avoid electing Ruto. This statement comes after a race of corruption deals working Kenyan Kwanza regime. The coalition warned Kenyans that the country is slipping back to the days of corruption and major scandals. As the move further revealed another scandal in the making, Mr. Eugene was speaking on behalf of the coalition disclosed that the tractors the government is urging from Belarus is another scandal that will shock Kenya. As we warned you during campaign, the history of our opponents is known since the YK92 era. The days of corruption and scandals are back in Kenya. Fertilizer, poison sugar, the KMSE net scandal, and tractors from Belarus, which is another scandal in the making in the transport sector. Azimo clarified that they will be having another press briefing on Tuesday to talk in depth about recent corruption scandals and the move by Kenyan Kwazao to take political parties' lives and the spirit of multi partisan also, the coalition stated that they will address the suppression of devolution by William Ruto's government. On Tuesday, we will be addressing matters on corruption substantively and attempt by Kenyan Kwanzaa administration to take political parties' lives and political democracy. Also, the father said that the bipartisan dialogue will remain suspended until Tuesday when the coalition will issue a substantive statement. The bipartisan talks will remain suspended until Tuesday when we make the substantive statement. Finally, President William Ruto has received yet another setback as religious leaders make their stand on against Kenyan Kwanzaa financial bill. Ruto suffers from another setback as religious leaders gang up against taxation. Clergy led by Archbishop Ole Sapit has sharply opposed Ruto's bill on the basis of high taxation, warning that Kenyans are already burdened. Sapit defended Kenyans, arguing that essential commodities have skyrocketed within the past few weeks and additionally costs will hurt workers. Sapit asked the president to focus on a few projects that can be managed and rescheduled the rest to his second term if he is re-elected in 2027. He was referring to the housing levy, which has received stern criticism from workers, employees and politicians. Azimo leader Rila Odinga vowed to fight until the last moment to ensure the bill doesn't pass in the parliamentary chamber. He however expressed his fear that President enjoys support from majority of the legislators. Deputy President Rigati Gachagua earlier defended Kenyan Kwanzaa government against accusation he has made life even worse for its citizens, saying the new government found the economy already in a bad state and has been trying to resurrect it. Hope you enjoyed the video and please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be able to watch our uploaded videos and have a blessed day.